Shalom, shalom, family. This is Yehuda from Yahweh's Assembly, and today we're getting back into a psalm a day, and we're going over Psalms 101. Uh, this is the 101 for all of those that need to understand the change that happens when God comes into your life. You make changes. You don't have the same friends. So please subscribe to the channel, uh, like and share our content, and let's get into it. I will sing of mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord, will I sing. So again, we're always supposed to be making that joyful noise to the Most High. Always. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. Oh, when wilt thou come unto me? So now he's saying, when you come into my life, when you make the changes in me, I'm going to behave wisely before you. I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. So we got we understand that we are the temple of the house of the Most High. So he will walk in himself in righteousness and holiness to the Most High. Because again, we are the house of the Most High, God. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. A lot of us we need to work on that, start remo removing the wicked things before our eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. So we're not going to do the same things that the evildoers are doing. A froward heart shall depart from me. So I won't be so uh, forward like we are in this generation, a generation of vipers. I will not know a wicked person. So that means that you are no longer uh, communing or fellowshipping with people that are wicked. Because when a Mosai comes into your life, there's changes that have to be made manifest. Because can two walk together unless they be agreed? No, they can't. Whoso privily or privately slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that hath an high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. So that those two things are the, some of the seven things that the Most High God hates. Uh, a proud look or a haughty look. He, he doesn't like those things. We are, we are always supposed to be humble. Always supposed to be humble. Mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land. That they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way. He shall serve me. So we're supposed to be uh, knowing those that, that labor among us. We're supposed to be walking with those that are in the faith, in the truth, uh, to the best of our ability. We're not, we're not supposed to be always communing with people that are wicked or evildoers. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. So those that lie and are very treacherous, they can't be uh, within your, in your households or really in your um, circle. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. The Most High God does not like liars. So once you realize that people are liars, you got to separate yourself from them. Because it's not a good thing. Because you are who you hang around, for lack of a better term. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. Or we know that that word is Yahuwah, not Lord. But... This is the type of love and admiration that David and the psalmist had for the Most High. That he was going to destroy all the evil and wicked doers. That he's going to separate himself from those that are walking contrary to him. In this day, in the age of Yahuwah Yahweh, that's what we have to start doing. Uh, even though he's the God that provides, we still have to separate ourselves from those that have been marked for destruction. So Father, we just thank you for your word. Thank you for getting us back here, Father. We know that the enemy has been plaguing our bodies and minds and spirits, Father. But thank you for just being you and who you are. I thank you for having a forgiving heart. I thank you for being ready to save. Thank you for sending your son that was who was faithful unto death, Father. Thank you for your mercy, which endured forever, Father. And thank you for your truth. Thank you uh, for your love, which covers a multitude of sins, Father. We ask for you to send your healing power throughout the world, Father. To all those that can apply the mustard seed of faith that you have given us, Father. And all these things that we do ask and pray in the name of your beloved son, Amar. So again, this was a psalm of day. This was Psalms 101. I am Yehuda. This is Yah's Assembly. So please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and share our content. And until next time, peace, family. Whoa.